what is up dudes welcome back to another video here on the dude gaming channel we're back here on the world of warcraft on the ptr hardcore classic we are in our first ptr dungeon we're gonna go ahead and share all these quests to these people seems like everyone has them all okay we got some trogs coming out of the portal is this some kind of bug? Is this something new? What is going on with this? Is this something that's known already for that? That's kind of funny that uh, you zone in and there's three mobs at the start. pretty fun to find out especially if you zone in by yourself and don't realize but getting into this dungeon I just kind of wanted to talk about everyone's experiences so far with the PTR it's been out what three or four days now and I was just curious let me know in the comments how everyone's experiences have been what you do like what you don't like so far and what would you want Blizzard to do better in the future or hopefully whenever the official servers drop for me, my experiences have been a little up and down. Obviously, I made that warrior that I did a little bit of videos with, and then um, obviously died to a duel to the death, just screwing around. And I made this guy on Horde just to get a little bit of a different flavor with the VTR, and to get into RFC a little bit quicker to try out my first dungeon. A lot of people have been having different kind of issues. Uh, for instance, the fear and root uh, breaking immediately issue from like retail that's supposedly is in uh, this PTR for some reason. I don't know if Blizzard meant to do that or do we know if they even fixed that yet? I don't know. I'll have to look to more into it. But that's been so much easier. It's been so much quicker to level, I've noticed. Um, is that a good thing? I mean, for people who are trying to get through the hardcore experience a little bit quicker, uh, not to be stuck on these quests for, or one quest for 30 minutes. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Um, but for me to be pretty much, does everyone know the Centaurian quest chain and the Barons where people have died in the past due to whenever you enact it, it spawns all those centaurs and then you have to kill the elite centaur Hezral, I think, or something like that. I forgot his name. Well, at level 13, I was able to down that, actually, myself. Um, which I think is insane to me, because he's a level 19 elite, but I was in a group of five people and was able to do it at level 13. So that kind of takes away from the hardcore experience a little bit, I guess. But then again, you know... For people who don't want to go crazy restrictive, you know, and just want to have fun in the game like I have been. I mean, I've been having a more fun experience. Well, let's not say that. It's been an easier experience where I haven't really felt like I'm going to die too often. Especially with always having people that I'm grouped with here and there to get through quests a little bit easier. Like item quests, I don't group up with people, but quests where you just have to kill the quill boars and uh, the barons, X amount of quill boars or X amount of this mob, you know, I've been grouping up with people and they've been so much easier, so much quicker. Cause you'd have two, three people span out a across an entire little area and just killing everything that, you know, pops up, so. That's been my experience so far. I think it's a lot easier now with being able to group, uh, being able to trade. I feel like I have a lot more money earlier in the game than I would, you know, if I was solo self-found. But again, it's been pretty easy. It's been easy to get bags. It's easy to get greens. Like I've been noticing people with full-on greens that are level 10, so <laughs> it's been interesting to say the least. But then again, like I've said in the past, it doesn't matter how many greens you have or what kind of items you have because you could get 
go into 1k by yourself and instantly die to three or four mobs spawning on top of you or pulling something you shouldn't be pulling. So I want to know down in the comments what y'all's experiences have been like, what y'all think of the PTR so far, and what kind of improvements you would like to see or what you want Blizzard to do if you want any improvements at all. So as we make our way through this dungeon, we just finished the first quest here and the satchel quest for Thunder Bluff, but I was thinking about something that someone said in the forums the other day about putting a restriction on dungeons such as level 60s should never ever be allowed to come into RFC with lower levels. Yeah, Blizzard put that experience uh, thing on where pretty much you would get like one experience per mob, which really wouldn't be worth it all that much. But then again, with these 24 hour resets, especially with like Wailing Caverns and Dead Mines early levels, having a higher level come in and just clear everything for you, just you and a level 30, level 60, whatever. I feel like that still could be detrimental just because that's pretty much just farming for gear, for your alt, or for your um, friend or guildy, you know? Um, as this is hardcore, do you all think that should be allowed? Should there be a restriction where higher levels or 10 to 15 levels above should never be allowed to go into a dungeon with lower levels? Like I said, yeah, they put the restrictions on where you'd get like one experience per kill, but if you're just going for gear, do you really care about, you know, experience at that point? Um, other than just trying to farm different items and whatnot. What do y'all think about that? Let me know in the comments what y'all think on if Blizzard should put some kind of restriction for levels into lower level dungeons. As we draw closer to the hunger here, I did want to talk about another thing I saw on the WoW forums when people were talking about if there is truly a division amongst the WoW community when it comes to like the hardcore restrictions. I wouldn't think there is. Um, I know there, there's people that, you know, are for the hardcore crazy restrictions and then there's people who are calling it softcore who just want the death equals delete, they want everything that goes with it, you know, all that. But is there actually division amongst people? I don't think there is. I mean, there's some people who want one thing and some people that want other restrictions and that's okay completely. I mean, you can still pose your own restrictions on yourself. You can still use the add-on while in the hardcore official server. So I don't see why that would cause division other than if you want to, you know, do that yourself. Just do the SSF, solo self found. Do or play how you want to play and play how you enjoy playing. If you don't want to use the auction house or trade, or use any kind of mail, don't do it. I mean, that's all there is to it. It's a nice cloak, maybe we can snag that, but I'll just keep saying the same thing over and over is play how you want to play, play how you enjoy playing, and really that's all that matters, truly. If you enjoy playing SSF, do that. Use the add-on. Go for the achievements that there is in the add-on, and if you are enjoying playing like this, where you able to trade, able to do everything, you know, then do it. I think a cool thing Blizzard could do, though, is add achievements into the hardcore servers. I don't see them ever doing that, but it would be a cool addition to somehow use the add-on like achievement system as a blueprint to add in you know when you hit when you hit y and wrath or retail you have that achievement menu pop up well why don't you have something like that with some hardcore achievements that people can go for such as you know the naked run the uh, hunter where you are the lone wolf where you don't use a pet where you never use 
any guns or bows and only thrown weapons. You know, it's something like that. Just use that add-on achievement system as a blueprint and add that into the game. That would be pretty cool and it would make people want to go for those challenges as well instead of trying to do them themselves because it'll give them some kind of, you know, initiative to actually want to do that. Let me know in the comments what you think of that. I think that would be a great idea for Blizzard to do. Will they ever actually do it? I don't know. Probably not, but you never know. Maybe if we can push it in the Reddit and discussion boards, it'll push Blizzard to want to do that. Also for the fact that I always thought the get to level 10 in two hours, get to level 20 in what, six or eight hours, whatever that challenge was, or kill this boss before this level. Yeah, it is a little easier if you're not doing the SSF route where you're obviously going to be grouped up for like Alliance side, Vagash, Hogger, you know, it's going to be a little easier, but at the same time, I'm all for an achievement system in the hardcore classic servers. Well, we killed this last boss here. I did want to talk about something I saw on the forums as well, on the sense of some people were talking about how there should be multiple different kind of servers. One server that's the crazy restricted SSF server where you can't group with people, you can't use the mailbox, can't use this, yada yada yada. And then have servers like the PTR where, you know, everything's available except just death equals deletes. Blizzard should just start out with the one server or however many servers of how PTR is. And hopefully they add in some kind of cool achievement, something kind of, you know, something like that. Let me know in the comments what y'all think about that. Should there be multiple servers with different kind of rule sets? So we make our way up to Basilan up here. I did want to ask one more question. Do we believe Hardcore will be dead within a couple of months of the Hardcore server release? That's a question I really don't know because who knows how long this Hardcore, you know, thing will go on. Will, you know, the streamers continue to stream the content? Will people still be interested in the content? And a lot of people think that once people hit level 60s on some of their tunes, if, you know, there's only like that 10% that ever made it to level 60, but get a certain level and then start, you know, gearing out their alts with a bunch of greens, with bandages, etc., etc., to the point where it's not really hardcore anymore. Do we think the servers will last more than two months or do we think it will start to fall apart just kind of like how season the mastery kind of fell apart in the past let me know down in the comments what you all think of that question i'm really curious to see what the people think on how long hardcore will last and if it will last at all once everyone gets through the you know the initial release and get tired or bored of it because it's become too easy possibly because you can make bank alts you can send stuff to lower level alts once you get a certain level and have enough you know gold or whatever playing around so like i said um let me know in the comments after finishing our first dungeon here on the ptr and rfc we're turning our quests for the dungeon and i want to kind of go back over everything we talked in this video starting with should there be a restriction on higher levels being in lower level dungeons with lower levels even with the experience uh, thing being enacted here where you'd probably only get one experience but does that even matter if that person is going after certain items like in willing caverns or dead mines for a hunter, maybe he wants to keep going back to Wailing Caverns to get the bow off one of the last boss bosses and the experience doesn't really matter to him. Another thing we talked about, if there is division amongst the community, I don't think there really is. And I feel like if there were separate servers for each kind of thing like SSF or how the PTR is, where everything is available, I think that would cause more division, but then again, it could just be people want to do it this way and others want to do it that way. So, and it would make it a little bit more complicated, I think, in terms of new players coming to hardcore 
on which one they actually want to do. I feel like a cool little thing they could do, I guess, is like the button you click in RuneScape where you do the ultra hardcore or just the regular hardcore. That would be pretty cool. Or them adding the, an achievements, you know, window. Like we have achievements on Wrath and Retail where you thunder. implement all the, not all of them, but implement the add-on or the achievements from the hardcore add-on and just use it as a blueprint to, as a starter guide to make achievements that people can go after as they level or as soon as they hit or come in and create their character, they can focus on that one achievement just like people did in the add-on anyways. Lastly, we went over if the servers or official hardcore servers will die off within a couple months because of people being able to get through it so easily once you get above a certain level and able to funnel gear, materials, and you know gold to your alts. Will it become too easy and people get bored of it? Unlike how the add-on was where it was so hard to get above a certain level and if you did you felt like it was an achievement for yourself to get that high level. Whereas once you, you know, how it's going to be on official servers, once you get a certain level, you can easily have all these alts with so much gear, make it a little bit easier on yourself, you know, all the gold in the world. Will it make it boring for people? Will it make the server's population fall off within a couple months? What do you all think about everything? Let me know down in the comments. And I just want to say I appreciate y'all for watching this video, and I'll catch y'all next time. Thanks, y'all.